I need to build more boxes for my honeybees, so I thought I'd make a video on how I build them just using this table saw. I'm going to be building two deep boxes and then two medium honey supers. The deep boxes are made out of a 1x12 and the medium honey supers will be made out of a 1x8. So the first thing you need to do is get them cut down. You need two pieces at 19 and 7 eighths and then two at 16 and a quarter. I got the table saw set up with the rip fence set at 9 and 5 8 so that'll be for the deep hive body. So I'll cut those down now. into six and five eighths and that's to cut the medium honey supers. I got everything cut so now I need to set the table saw up to do the finger joints. To do the finger joints, you're going to have to have a dado blade set up on three quarters of an inch. This is the blade I'm using. It's adjustable. I don't really like this one. It's not very accurate. And it tears out real bad. But it works. Here's the jig I built for doing the finger joints. It's pretty simple. I made it out of scraps. It took probably five minutes, if that, to build it. It just rides in the two miter gauge slots. And the base is made out of some three quarter inch particle board that was laying around. And these are just two two by fours. Then this is three quarters by three quarters, and that's screwed down three quarters of an inch from where the edge of the dado blade is. And then you'll need a spacer that's three quarters by three quarters to put in here. And then you just slide that over your dado blade. And you want your dado blade set three quarters of an inch above this. So because this is three quarters of an inch thick, the blade is set at an inch and a half high. So when you go to cut the finger joint, you'll hold your board into there. And then when the blade comes up into here, that'll cut out a three quarter by three quarter inch square. And then you just shift this over and then keep going down the line. And then for the piece that will go into this one, that's where you'll use your three quarter inch spacer and put that into there. So the first cut we'll be taking out this corner
All right, now we're getting into the tricky part. So if you're gonna screw something up, this is probably where it's gonna happen at. So what I do is you wanna pick one side of the board, one edge that you want facing up when you build the hive. So mark that. When you go to cut the finger joint, the edge that you marked as the top will be the edge that you start with every time. That'll keep everything lining up good. All right, a really important thing when you go to cut your finger joints is on the 16 and a quarter inch sides, that's the one where you're gonna wanna start off with the three quarter inch spacer in here. So you put that in there and then start off like that on the 16 and a quarter inch sides. And the reason why that's important is because you want to take that corner one out on the 16 and a quarter inch side because you're going to have to cut a rabbit in here to hang the frames from. So if you do it just the opposite and take that corner out of the 19 and 7 eighths inch side, you're going to have a little square opening on the corners and you'll have to cut a little block of wood and glue in there. So remember that that's for the the shorter side, the shorter pieces. So I kind of marked it out. That's how it'll look for the short pieces. You'll start on the corner and take that one out. And then, so you only use that spacer for the very first cut. That'll keep, that'll keep this edge three quarters of an inch from that. So the edge of your board when you go to make the first cut will be even with the edge of the dado blade and take that corner out. And then the longer sides, you won't use that spacer in there and you'll start cutting. This will be your first cut here. So on the longer sides, that'll be your first cut and then your next cut after that. So here's our spacer, and it's best if you put your spacer in this way, if you lay it in this way, the blade can hang it back up in here. So there's our finger joints for the one side. Now you need to flip it over and then make sure you start, keep the same edge that you marked for the top and then start the same way over there. 
and you'll use that three quarter inch spacer again. So you'll always use that spacer on each side of the, the shorter pieces. We got our two shorter sides cut. That's why I don't like these dado blades because they tear out so bad. So now to cut the longer pieces, you're gonna make sure you use the end that you marked for the top again. But this time you don't use that three quarter inch spacer in there. You'll just slide this all the way over, and then that's where you'll start your first cut at. So for the longer side, your top edge slid all the way over. So here's how it shouldn't work out. That's your shorter one. And then there's the longer one. So by starting out with that spacer on the shorter one, you can see that it put it three quarters of an inch off. So that way your fingers will line up for your finger joint. Then one thing you need to watch for is to make sure that that always stays clear down in there. You get some little chunks of wood like that down in there that'll throw you off. Then another thing I wouldn't try doing, on the very first hive I built, I had the bright idea is, oh, I'll just take the whole stack of them and cut them all at once. Which should work, but you can see how crooked the lumber is today. So if you do each piece individually, they seem to fit better. Right, we got all of our finger joints cut. So now on the shorter pieces, the ones that are 16 and a quarter, we need to cut a rabbit on the top edge of them so that edge that you marked as the top is the ones where you're going to cut that rabbit and it's going to be three eighths of an inch by five eighths so if you had a sacrificial fence set up 
and you had your dado blade in it would be pretty simple to cut that out real quick but I don't have a sacrificial fence so so what I do is I set the fence up 5 8 of an inch to the outside edge of the blade and then the blade is 3 8 of an inch high so we'll run that through that'll cut a notch 5 8 of an inch up and then 3 8 of an inch deep and then we'll slide the fence over for the next cut it'll be we'll slide it over to 3 8 of an inch and then we'll raise the blade to 5 8 and then we'll cut it again this way all right so the edge you marked as the top is the side you want up against the fence Here's how we cut them all. So this is 5 eighths of an inch from here and then we cut in 3 eighths of an inch. So now we need to raise the blade up to 5 eighths of an inch. And then slide the fence over to 3 eighths of an inch between the inside of the blade and the fence and then that'll cut that out right in there so we'll have our rabbit all right we got the saw set up now so you want to keep the notch that you just cut facing out because you're using the thickness of the blade as part of your three-eighths of an inch that you're removing. So there's our rabbit. I don't know how well you can see it because of the light. But that's why it's important that you use that spacer on the finger joint jig for the short sides because you wouldn't want that rabbit to be in one of the exposed fingers. Otherwise, if it was, when you put your sides together, you would have a gap like that in the corner then you'd have to cut a little block of wood to fill it in we got everything cut now so we can start putting them together so if you did everything right for one box you should have two shorter pieces that are 
16 and a quarter inches long with the rabbit on the top edge that you marked. And then two pieces that are 19 and 7 eighths. fingers should be opposite one another. And then starting out, oh well, you can see. It. So where your rabbit was, when you put that together, that end there will cover the edge of that rabbit. Let's see if I can squeeze it together. So when you pound that together, that rabbit will get covered by that one. So you don't have a gap in there. So that's it, now you can glue them up and nail them together. So here's one that I just glued up and squeezed together. So just put some nails in it, and you should be good to go. Well here they are all put together. That's the rabbit where your frames will sit in. That's the medium honey super, and then the deep hive body. I glued them and then shot some staples in them. So I'm going to put some paint on them now. That should be about it. 